You'll have to forgive me, there is a bit of an echo in the new office room. We haven't quite filled it out yet, so yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, on to the point of the video. When it comes to the AR platform, just about everybody's familiar with these aluminum lowers, and just about everybody's used one. But, how do you feel about polymer lowers? So, these are made out of plastic, they're quite a bit lighter, and you know, a lot of people are saying that uh, they're concerned that they won't hold up or that they'll, uh, you know, eventually break or explode. So we have a bunch of different upper receivers, as you're aware. Um, we're going to be starting out with the 22, and then we're going to test this thing all the way up to the 50 Beowulf, which I would say is probably the most likely, if anything, is going to do damage the Beowulf may end up being the one that does damage. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. We'll get it put together and then uh, see how it goes. So literally, we're gonna run 22 long rifle. We're gonna run 223. We'll run some 556. We'll jump up to the uh, 762 by 39 and 65 uh, Grendel. And then from there, we'll probably work our way into the 224 Valkyrie and then up to the uh, 350 Legend, 450 Bushmaster, the 458 SOCOM, and finish off with the Beowulf. So if I didn't put those in the correct category, I do apologize. But, uh, you know, any if anything, give me a comment. Let me know what order you think that I should run them in and uh, how many rounds. Another thing I'd like to mention is that... Uh, we are on a mission to get our subscriber count up to a thousand before the end of the year. So if you're watching our videos or you enjoy our videos, definitely don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button for me because it helps out a lot. Let's us know that you appreciate it or at least that you get enjoyment out of some of our videos. So if you want to see this thing literally run every caliber on top, let us know. So you may be wondering why all these grips are in the back, all these wonderful 3D printed and this uh, very cheap standard grip. And it's because with this, we're gonna be running a variety of different uppers. In California, we have the most ridiculous gun laws. So we have two ways we can go, fixed magazine or featureless. For fixed magazine, what it means is basically the magazine cannot be removable unless the action or the upper receiver is uh, open. So it cannot be able to fire while the magazine is being removed, basically, in short terms. So there's kits out there like the JT Hellfighter kit, which have the uh, quick push button that just barely separates the upper receiver and allows you to depress it. There's also the AR mag lock and kingpin and all sorts of other wonderful um, options for going with a fixed magazine system. Then there's featureless. So these featureless grips here, which personally came out really great, uh, they don't allow you to get the web of your index finger and your thumb uh, where the trigger is basically. So when the trigger starts to come out of the receiver here, and go to the backside like that, basically the exposed portion of the trigger you can't get this around or below it. And you can see because that's a straight line there. So that's one. Another option are these, which are kind of designed after the Juggernaut tactical uh, featureless grip. They're nice, they're extremely comfortable. They're what I consider to be borderline. So not exactly sure, I guess, depending on how big your hand is, you may or may not be able to classify that as getting it below. So there's plenty of other videos debating on whether or not it's legal. Uh, you know, Thortson basically, the other company producing a Thortson stock that's this with a stock on it, uh, said that if they could have done it, they would have. However, I'm not here to debate whether it's legal or not legal. And by all means, you know, it's whatever you're comfortable with and what you think is legal because I'm not an attorney, it's not legal advice and you would be the one that would be facing the consequences. So personally for me, this is one of the oddest ones, but it's actually one of the most comfortable ones. And I don't know why. I'm not sure if that's gonna change once we get the stock on it, but that's awesome. 
Here's one that's just kind of a, you know, group opened up version of this. Another great option. This one is got to be another one of my favorites. So it kind of, as you can see, it kind of kicks it out to the side and it kind of seats very comfortably into the palm. So this is another really nice, comfortable grip. And I don't know if that'll change depending on where the buffer tube ends up and the stock. So anyways, back to the, uh, the reason why the lower is going to be a fixed magazine system is because not all of our uppers are does have not all of our uppers have been built in the uh, featureless style so a lot of our uppers are on fixed magazine lowers and that means that we obviously can't make this into a uh, featureless and then put an upper on it because if it has a flash hider then again that's an evil feature and we would basically have an aw at that point so it's kind of a ridiculous as the only thing that's basically stopping us from from just doing a featureless build for this and for this test is the fact of the muzzle devices so very frustrating um you know just uh, is what it is but Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh, definitely let us know if you're excited 